The Flint mayor is asking city council to vote yes for this Flint water settlement. He says the $20 million settlement for Flint will benefit the people that live here. In my mind, this is a, a no brainer. In the $640 million lawsuit arising from the Flint water crisis, Flint is on the hook to pay $20 million of that. Mayor Sheldon Neely says they have the opportunity to use the city insurance to cover the costs. That will only happen if council approves it. With the dollars that's being offered from our insurance carrier, if they choose, the council chooses not to go forth, we remain a defendant against all the plaintiffs in the case and any future um, settlement and or judgment goes against the tax base and uh, treasury of the city of Flint. The mayor adds the city has no say in how the total $641.2 million will be paid out. But he says if city council votes no, it means $20 million less for residents. He says the people impacted by the water crisis would have to cover the cost of the $20 million if they don't use the insurance money. The city of Flint cannot afford that. Um, we're, we're a cash-strapped city as is now. Um, and what would happen is that... Um, in, in a sense, in itself, the city of Flint residents are suing itself because it, it comes from the tax base and our, our uh, treasury uh, of the city of Flint, and we generate our revenues primarily from our tax base. If the insurance doesn't get used to pay this massive piece of the lawsuit, the cost will fall as an assessment on tax bills, according to the mayor. City council needs to move forward. The clock is ticking, and this is the most important vote that this council will take. The mayor says while the city has no say in how that money will be distributed, he says it will go to adults who have paid water bills, adults who have rented and exposed children and education. The city council moves to vote on this measure on December 14th. In Flint, Rachel McCrary, WNEM TV5.